Welcome back to Sleep Better TV. I'm Scott Drake. This is a series of discussions with my guest, Dr. Larry Pribble, with the Center for TMJ and Sleep Apnea in Independence, Missouri. In this segment, we're talking about the various stages of sleep. So, doctor, when we sleep, uh, talk about the different stages and the different levels or depths of sleep. Uh, yes, there are. There's two main stages of sleep, two main categories of sleep, and that would be REM and non-REM sleep. And different things happen in each category. And non-REM sleep is divided into four different stages, four different levels, light sleep down to a deeper sleep. And uh, the deeper sleep uh, produces um, growth hormone for, uh, for children. And that is particularly important for uh, kids that are growing, that they get uh, a good amount of this uh, to help them both uh, physically and neurologically as they grow. So what's the difference between REM sleep and NREM sleep? Non-REM sleep uh, precedes the, uh, the REM sleep and uh, REM uh, in REM sleep is called a dreaming sleep and we uh, during that time our, our eyes and our diaphragm are the only two uh, muscles in our body that are moving the rest is paralyzed and more than likely uh, that effect happens so that we don't have an opportunity to act out our dreams, which could be uh, a little disastrous for some of the wild and crazy dreams that people have. But REM sleep, sleep is, is deep dreaming sleep. Uh, deep sleep uh, in the stages of non-REM sleep is restorative and regenerative to our overall health, where, where growth hormone again is released, which helps. So typically, doctor, how long is a sleep cycle and what does it consist of? Well, a sleep cycle lasts about 90 minutes. There are four to five sleep cycles that uh, happen through the course of the night. They, we cycle through all the different stages of sleep, different periods of REM happening at different times through the course of the night. And the deepest uh, sleep that we get, the best sleep we get, is usually between 4 and 6 a.m. in the morning. That particular time is when uh, if you have apnea and you wear a CPAP machine or have an oral appliance and if you happen to take your appliance out during that period of time or take your CPAP mask off, that those hours are when more deaths occur just because you're not managing your apnea at that moment. And finally, doctor, I'm curious, what do you think uh, is the main purpose of sleep? Well, the main purpose of sleep is to restore your brain, give your brain a chance to rest, to refile what uh, has happened during the course of the day. There aren't uh, any body functions that need that sleep, nothing like what our brain does. So it's uh, neurologically refreshing. Doctor, thank you. Thank you. My guest has been Dr. Larry Pribble with the Center for TMJ and Sleep Apnea in Independence, Missouri. I'm Scott Drake, and you're watching Sleep Better TV. Thank you.